My name is Xavier, and welcome back to North the Guard. This is my third attempt today to try to record an episode here. We're going to go medium. We're going to go a medium map size again. The first two times recording were interesting. They were really, really, really good games, but then the recording, like, broke and it, it, it technical difficulties, basically. So I've been talking for three hours with nothing to show for it. So obviously, I'm going to go talk for an hour and a half more. This time around, I'm going to do a Clan of the Raven. And the reason I'm going to do Clan of the Raven is because they're the most uniquely situated for an economic victory. And a couple days ago, there was a patch to Northgard revamping the way economic victories were achieved. So I figure, all right, why don't we try to explore that and see how that works out? Now, I've already played a full game of this, so I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, I got really close to victory, but failed. So let's try again. Uh, the starting bonuses are you can colonize with crones instead of food, which is pretty interesting. Uh, you can build a harbor to explore coastal areas and, later on, send mercenary attacks out. I've never really seen much value to that. It, it costs a lot of money, but I guess there's some value to it if like, someone was like winning a fame victory or something. Uh, recruits here at 200 fame, we attain 3 villages and 3 max pop, but we don't get 3 happiness. So that can actually be a really awesome thing if I go for it early and I have the happiness, or a really bad thing if it pushes me into like negative 3 happiness really fast. Uh, and at 500 fame, we get the ability to hire mercenaries at your harbor and send them to raid coastal areas, which I haven't really found a use for it yet, but let's jump on in. Yeah, this screen right here, this is literally the only thing that recorded for 45 minutes of my last hour and a half long video. My cursor was working fine, and I could see that it was moving around and changing and all that, but it wasn't actually recording. I've never seen anything like that before. No idea what happened. Regardless, this game's amazing, so we're just gonna play it again. The only problem is I may have to talk a lot less because I've been talking for like four hours today already. Uh, and it's starting to uh, be a challenge, as some might say. What if I built over here? Is this a house? That's no, a woodcutter's lodge. Good. Well, I probably want to build a house here. Before I do, let's just have my scout go out and look around a little bit. I do have a little bit of time here. Population four out of five. Village is only at 44. I don't have to build a house for a little bit of a while. We can probably at least explore the first area here. Okay, Woodcutter's Lodge is done. You immediately go in there and start choppy choppies. Here comes my scout. Villagers at 63. What'd you find? Ooh! A shipwreck. And some stone. Hell yeah! Let's go over there. We'll colonize that. That's where I'll put my first house. So I'm not going to do anything else out here. Oh, actually, you know what I... Oh! <gasps> This is perfect, actually. This is perfect, perfect, perfect. It also has three spaces here, because building building harbors is the key to victory with this clan. Let's build a house over there. And then, yep, there we go. Perfect timing. My new uh, new villager can come out, and he can go build the house. Awesome. Let's go get to my... Uh, ra not raider. My scout now, and have them come back and explore the shipwreck. This will give me crones and wood. All right. All right. I like that a lot. Now, I did spend food, I think, to explore or um, expand, not explore, into the first territory. But I can just click this button here to go over to Crohn's. And it's like it's like a less than point, it's like a point four Crohn's to one food ratio, it seems. So 16 Crohn's or 40 food, whichever one I want. So I can actually expand very quickly right now if I found more territories with... Uh, no enemies in them. I can see some uh, deer over here, so I want to go explore that one as soon as I'm done with this resource thing up there. Since I got a lot of people doing nothing, let's go a second person on choppy choppies. I'm going to need some mining first. Not first, necessarily, but I'm going to need some mining, period. We'll do that. We'll get you over there eventually. Or at least right now. Uh, and then next up is food. I got zero food right now. Ooh, some fish down here. Makes me wonder, maybe I should go explore there to get the fish, or explore here to get the stags. Either way, I don't think it matters too much. Maybe I shouldn't have my one scout up here. You know what? Let's make a second scout. I'm sitting here doing nothing all this time. Might as well have a second scout going. I'm going to run out of food very soon, so let's try to get you to go explore the fish territory. Hopefully there's nothing there. I can spend some crones and expand into it. And then immediately set up some uh, food production, because we're going to be short. All right, we got another civilian just spawned here. Villager, as they say. Quarry's complete. That means you can come and start working at it for stone. Beautiful. We're almost done over here. We're at 11 food minus 5. So it's going down. Oh, what do we find? We found two fish, one lore, and I can easily expand here. Let's switch to crones. 16 crones. Go. And you're coming over here to research this space. Perfect. 
Our scout scavenged a shipwreck. We've gained 200 wood and 100 crones. Now, talk about a nice start, I think. Let's build a fishing hut, though, right out of the gate. Hunter's Lodge Fisher Hut. We'll build one, like, let's say, right here. Beautiful. Let's grab any old civilian. We only have one. We'll get you over there in that fisher's hut. There we go. We just ran out of food. So, nothing I can really do about it, though, until I get this fisher's hut up and done. Over here, we're looking at two wolves. Okay. And some droger is up beyond that. And some droger's over here beyond that. Let's come explore this one, then. I want to find something I can quickly expand into... Maybe I should not have two scouts uh, right now. Actually, you know what? Let's get one of these scouts off and put them on civilian duty so they can harvest some food. It actually won't matter too much until I get this done, though. Okay. We're down for... We went from negative six to negative two, but we're still at zero. Fishing hut is done. Go fish. Uh, go fish, friends. Go fish. Two of you fish. Voila. Okay, it's not working yet. I guess they have to actually hit the fishing spot. There we go, finally. All right, now we're plus three food and we're, we're into happiness mode again. Very good. Very, very, very good. I need to clear this out, right? But clearing that out now is going to require a mill, a training camp. Over here, I can build three three tiles. So let's build a training camp here. It's just wood. We've got, we got a lot of wood thanks to that shipwreck. So we'll do that. This scout here, as soon as they're done... Let's come over here and explore this one. This looks to be the last one I might potentially be able to expand into without some sort of conquest. Up here, we're looking at iron. Okay. Iron and also some kind of um, item up there. I'm going to need some iron to build my lord, though, I think. My war chief, now that I think about it. So, unless there's some iron right here, I have very limited options right now. Let's get someone over here working on that... Um, Training camp. All right, everything's everything's coming along, smooth and dandy. Town hall, I want to upgrade soon. But that requires ten stone. I got five. I've got the crones up the wazoo. I got the wood up the wazoo thanks to that shipwreck. All I need is the stone. We got six right now, and I've got only one person working there. Let's get someone else over there working on that. Wow. My voice just died horrifically there. But now I'm actually negative four food. Hold the phone, we're under attack. All right, we got two, we got three people here to take care of this, so they should be able to kill that wolf. Well, this one's not even gonna fight back, which is unfortunate. Oh, we explored this over here, and there are indeed more wolves over there. So I have to kill, I have to kill, ooh, the sheep over here as well. The sheep, by the way, if you have them in a territory, they reduce the firewood cost for that territory during the winter by 20%. I didn't realize you could even move them. You can also, if you own them, slaughter them for an immediate 90 food, which is cool. Regardless, I need to get to uh, some fighting here. I have no ability to build my war chief because I have no iron. So I'm going to have to build regular warriors. Let's get you over there. Great. Let's get whoever the other warrior is up here. Great. Now we're negative six food, though. So let's get one miner and we'll turn them back into a civilian. And I may need to do one woodcutter, same deal. Okay, so we're at negative six. I'm hoping this negative two plus three. Okay, good. Now I have a little bit of a war party here. We need to go towards, I think, the iron. So let's move up into this territory. Wonderful. This territory's got stone. This one's got nothing but sheep. And this one's the one with the iron. Actually, I need to get not the... Hold on. Okay, we just cleared that one out. So that's one thing. Let's switch over. I will use the crones for 32. Let's go for it. I can't do it with the food anyway. I need the food more than anything. Let's come down here and we'll clear this one out. We'll, we'll gather this region next, and then I'll have the ability to make a hunter's lodge for more food because we're really, really failing on the food. I want to make sure that this you you come in first. You're out back there. Great. But both of you work on that. Awesome. That way this guy takes the brunt of the beating. Boom. Beautiful. And then if I have to run away here before we die, which I actually don't, we're fine. You guys run over there. Let's grab this. Let's colonize for 48 crones. Awesome. Looking good, friends. We got some droger out there in a swamp. Pretty useless territory, to be honest. It's like the worst possible territory you can imagine. Uh, now we're going to have to build a hunting cabin. Hunter's Lodge. We'll toss that in right on there. Perfect. Let's get some villagers out there working on that. Next up, since I got some wounded, I'm going to have to build a healer sut. Healer sut, I imagine, is going to be right on there. Let's do that. Grab another villager and get them up there working on that. Awesome. 
These guys really can't do anything, but I don't want to switch them off because I spent a lot of money on them. I think it was 45 crones total. We can't grow because we need more houses. Right, I forgot about that. Well, I can't do anything else out here in this territory anyway. Actually, I might be able to build another shipyard, but we'll worry about that later. For now, let's just build a house here. Let's grab a one other person who's doing nothing and get out there. We're now negative eight food right now is the thing. Okay, we did finish. No, we did not. There we go. Now we finished that. Let's get you in there working. Great. And as soon as either one of you is done, we can get you also working here on this. Oh, I have gotten the stone here to upgrade my town hall, but I have spent all my crones, and I'm actually losing crones at this point. Because I've been expanding like a maniac. You need to get in there and start healing everybody. And then as soon as this house is done, we'll start producing more people, even though I can't feed them. Oh, it's winter! 100%, you get over here and start hunting. We're 5 minus 5 food. Bam, 5 minus 2 food. We are screwed. If I don't find some way to deal with this. Huh. Okay, my scout doesn't need to be scouting anymore. So let's pull him back and turn him into a civilian. He can harvest up enough food to keep us from starving during the winter. Yeah, there we go. 2 plus 2. An unknown clan has discovered the gates of Helheim. Let's take control of it to achieve victory. Was that down here? Yes, it is. This portal connects Northgard and Helheim, the realm of the dead. Corrupted Valkyries will spawn here until someone is brave enough to confront them. Colonize the gates of Helheim and keep it under your control to achieve victory. All right, sounds pretty easy, but it's not because it costs like a ton of food, I think, to colonize it. And then everyone goes and kills you when you're there. So easier said than done. You guys can probably move out here and start moving to our next conquest territory, right? I need more food. Up here, we got nothing. We got iron, sheep. Oh, did I did I have any sheep? No, I don't have any sheep. Um, I'd like to get some, but I don't... Ooh, what the hell is this? That's a brown bear. Solitary creatures that fiercely defend their territory. But they just have stone there. Lots of stone there. 48 stone, but that's no good. I need food! Where's the food? Sad thing is, I don't even... You know what? I have extra villagers. Well, if I pull the villagers off of, of gathering, I'm literally going to starve to death, so... That's not an option. I'm also starving on the crone front, too. So let's worry about a harbor. This is our special building anyway, so we'll build it right there. Let's get maybe one of these civilians. We're in January with 12 food. I'm hoping 12 minus 1, we can build that before we starve to death. 108 minus 2 wood and 6 minus 1 crones is there. Oh, hey, I have got some... Uh, I have some lore here I had completely forgotten about. Let's go for trading to get the plus 2 crones. All right, that sounds like a good idea. Great, that'll at least take care of that. We also have plus one food all of a sudden somehow. Quite Oh, because I must have built another villager who's now gathering. Perfect. Los perfectos, friends. Los perfectos. I also only have one woodcutter at the moment. But you know what? You guys are pretty much done. I'm thinking iron next. Then I can build a war chief. Actually, I can't build a war chief. No, let's come down here and get the sheep next. Since I can't build a war chief, I do not have um, the, the, the people to make that really happen. You guys come in here and attack, though. Okay, they're, they're splitting up their attacks, but that's actually perfect. We'll take care of this, no problem. Construction of a harbor is complete. That is really awesome. I'm going to need some people to go work in it, but we're currently we're in the end of February. We'll have enough. Let's go for it. Get on in there and work on that harbor. New villager, 96, 97, 98, 99. Boom! You get in on in there as well. Now... Let's go for a raiding for fame, and we will start the raiding now. I want to get to 200 fame right away so I get my three people. And my three extra pop cap. Uh, you guys come back here. Let's grab this territory. I want to expand here, but I have neither food nor the crones to do it. It's 160 food or 64 crones. You guys can both heal up, and then we'll go send you out to deal with more some more guys. Honestly wondering if maybe the smarter move now is to actually disband these guys from warriors. I can make a lot more crones later. I don't know. Just so I can start working on other stuff. Eh, maybe not. Alright, how long till I can upgrade this? We're looking at 50 crones here. And we're getting plus 5. That should probably be my next thing, my next goal. Upgrade the town hall so I can start upgrading key pivotal buildings. I also really need to get someone ex exploring here. Let's go for another scout. 
And at this point, I'm actually barely keeping afloat on the food, so... We'll wait. Pop cap looks to be 14 out of 15. We're getting close to hitting that, that's for sure. And now we can do our upgrade. We got our 50 crones max pop by 2, and we also get growth by 20. Bam! Nice. Now we can upgrade all manner of stuff all over the town. Okay, so what do I want to upgrade? Well, I need to really get more crones more than anything. So I think the harbor along to like... Whoa! We need wood because we have tremors coming up. All right, well, if that's the case, let's get a civilian here and go for two people on wood chopping. I really want to upgrade my harbor, but it's going to be 100 wood, and I just started doing that. It probably makes a lot of sense. Oh, wait, I have a forest over here. I could build a woodcutter's building over here with the forest, upgrade that, and then have three people there. That, that would be super efficient, but we need 50 wood to make that happen. I believe the two of these guys, any second now, will be ready to take on the next uh, threshold here. You know what? Let's get him up here, because I already own this territory. Definitely need that iron, but then I need food. Where did my scout go? Huh? They're out here scouting out other territories. All right. So I'll probably iron next. Uh, with that being said, you guys go in there, or you guys come in here. And let's go, let's go take care of these welds. Let's take care of them. Nice job, guys. Choppy choppies. Choppy choppies. That's how it's done. And that's where I want to expand to next. But to do this, I'm going to need 64 crones and we're only at 45. Uh, although here I get two sheep too. But I don't need the sheep till winter. And winter's kind of far away. What's our next big issue? Earthquake. All right, well, we're saving up some wood for that at least. Can you guys kill Droger? Three Droger? I don't think so. We're going to need more than that. Acquired enough lore to get a new tech. All right. Why don't we go for shipbuilding sailors resource by 30%? That seems like a brilliant idea to me, since my entire economy is built on these shipbuilding guys with this uh, war of the um, clan of the, not war bird, what are, they, what are they? Ravens, that's what they are. Oh, this thing is done here. Let's destroy that then. Wonderful. Let's go build a new one up here once I colonize this for 64 crones. Then we'll throw in a new mine here to get some iron. We also have 20 stones. We can do two upgrades. Okay, there we go. Let's get you up there. You can't work on it, really? All right, let's get you back there. And we'll get some random civilian up there working on it. All right, well, we're making... Oh, hello. 52 stone and also a ved vedderfulnir. Vedderful near. God, that's not how you pronounce that, I'm sure. We get 100 lore if we heal that bird, but we gotta capture this and then actually spend some time healing it. And to capture it, we gotta kill four wolves. I really need my um, captain, my war chief. Another thing I really need, though, is crones so I can buy stuff. So I'm thinking of spending my next wood on this, but we're coming up to the earthquake pretty soon. So let's do this instead. Let's, let's make a much more efficient woodcutter's lodge here. Uh, let's get you up over there working on this. We'll we'll move over there. We'll actually upgrade this one in the forest. And then I think this will be the, the that one wood to cutter's lodge by itself will be enough to tide us over. We also have our uh, iron mine up here. Let's get someone working on that and someone else up there working on that. Actually, we're really low on the food. Holy mother of heavens, are we low on the food? I may, out of necessity... Wow, this is really bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Negative six food. We need more food. Let's get you working on wood choppies, you working on wood choppies. Forget about that second person up here working on iron. One is enough. I am really, really, really low on food with almost nothing I can do. I could I could cancel these guys as warriors that could have been gathering food this whole time. Might have been smart. I, I just thought I could go fight some more stuff with them. But frankly, I need people to gather food right now. So there we go. No more warriors. They're gone. If I want to re-recruit them, it's going to cost me, but oh well. I got tons of wood right now, which means we should be able... Oh, our scout was hurt while exploring. Well, we found some kobolds, though. I guess I could go trade with them. Cobalt camp. 
I really want to upgrade my harbor here so I can get more uh, resources, but I'm wondering if the smart thing would be food instead. I feel like I, I have to do the food here. Let's do it. We'll put 10 stone into this. We'll find one more merchant. We'll have them come over here and work on that. Do I have any iron yet? I got three. In a second, I could upgrade my fisher's huts. This, this log or hunter's cabin out here, I feel like I have to upgrade this as well. But we need a ton more to wood for this. We're about to have earthquakes as well. I like how it tells you. It's like the ancient Vikings have, have like deep sensing tremor seismic activity locators or whatever. They're like, oh, earthquake, uh, September 21st in, in the nine months from now. Like, that's insane. From a gameplay perspective, though, it's fine. Anyway, I would love to do this wood thing, but here we go. I'm about to lose my wood just as I get enough wood to upgrade my hunter's lodge. And, yep, there it is. Let's get you over there. Civilian number one, civilian number two over there. And you know what? We're going to have to get someone else up here in a second. You're down there. Great. Come up here and repair this. And that's everything. Hopefully we are repairing it. Yes, we are. Okay. Well, now, what's the deal here? Um, expected happiness a six, current happiness five. We need to expand, but we don't have much territory to go into. There's enemies everywhere I would like to go. My healer's got nothing to do. Let's get him back into gathering food, if nothing else. I gotta... Okay, I got my five iron. Maybe it makes sense then to get a war chief next. Or better yet, we need to store up some food for the winter. Uh, we're not going to have any chance to do that. Let's just get the war chief. Let's hope that I have enough. We'll get the war chief and then I can expand after that. This is going to take 150 crones. I've got 98 plus 6. So, going to be a little bit of just sitting around here. Meanwhile, though, I've got 120 lore with 113 or 114 out of 120. So, what am I do next? Hmm. I need some kind of happiness. My merchants. I could go... You know what I could do is do a, a, a coinage thing and go trade with the kobolds, but I, I don't have anything really to trade to them. Oh, we got our Thane. Oh, no! We got our Thane when I wasn't prepared. I got three villagers and three max pop, and we're super unhappy. That means I have to go immediately to a brewery. Not quite sure where to put it. I suppose we'll put it right here. Uh, let's get some of those people up here working on that. And can I do any immediate happiness things? No, but I can at least do this. And we can get some mining going. If I come through here, we get a little happiness for having a harbor, but not much. Building up... You know what? I will do this. Let's go to the carpentry master. 20% reduction in building upgrade costs. Because I haven't really upgraded anything yet. So we can do that. We're negative four food for the winter. Happiness is at negative five. We want better houses. Well, maybe I can upgrade one of you guys. Yes, I can, actually. Let's do that. And possibly upgrade another one, too. I got the stone... The crones, though, it's a lot of crones, but I've got them. Let's do it. I've got the wood, too, but then I got no extra whatsoever. All right, let's try to get this brewery done so I can get all my happiness leveled out there. So much for my, uh, so much for my war chief, huh? <laughs> what? Oh, Unknown Clan has built the lighthouse. Who cares? They might be starting to go for an early economic victory, though, but I can probably outpace them later. All right, here we go. You get in there and start making some happiness. You get over here and start making some happiness. Our scout died while exploring a new area. That's probably fine. Once you get in here, we'll be happy. We'll be low on food, but whatever. Ho, ho, ho. Wonderful. Okay, actually, and, and food actually went down to negative one, so it's not that bad. It's not that bad, friends. We're coming along. If anyone attacks us, though, we're kind of screwed because I am hanging on by a thread here. An unknown clan has reached the title of Thane. I'm going to spend some crones and some tools here to increase my sailors. Sailors will produce 15% more crones. Awesome. I'm going to go heavy into sailors this game. I need eight more stone. Do I have that? Not really. What are you doing up, Peter? You're doing nothing. Get over there and start mining at least. And the next stone deposit, I actually can build down here. So for that, I'm going to need 10 crones and 50 wood. I've got that. Let's toss it in. Let's get someone up there working on it right now. Okay. 
Well... Things are coming along. I'm not, like, super happy with the results of everything here. I can colonize this if I can just get the crones or food, and neither of which I have. The easiest way to, for me to get more crones is to upgrade my harbor. And that's going to be more stone, which we're working on here right now. Then I got to go explore. I can see the yellow guy down in the very bottom of the minimap slightly. Then I think I want to make a market, actually, and trade with the kobolds. Make some good friends over there. There we go. You immediately get in here. You know what else I could do now that I think about it? We're going to find treasure if we come in here. Let's go make a scout. I think I can do this. We're in February. We're nearly in spring. So even though we're negative six on food, let's have the scout come up here and explore these ruins, see what we can pull out of them. I have more ruins down here if I expand into this territory, which frankly I should do. It's only 80 crones. We'll do that probably next. Then we'll get those sheep, which will really help us in the winter. And then we can also explore there for, for goodies. All right, iron deposits are nearly done. I love it when they're done with the iron. It's so cool. Okay, they are indeed done. Let's get this out of here. Bam, of both of you guys. Uh, if I could select you both, great. Let's come down here and turn you into regular civilians again. Or, you know what? One of you actually come over here and, and mine on this stone. Where the heck am I going to get some food? There's none on the map right now. I don't know, but I wanted to upgrade this. Let's do this next when I get 8 stone. I'm currently at 4, but I've got 2 people mining this over here. We got 28 in there, so it shouldn't be too long. We're up to 5 already. What's this next big issue? Rat infestation. Rats will devour 50% of any food not stored in silos and bring disease. Your silos currently protect zero. All right, well, it's fine. Can I upgrade this yet? No, we're looking at seven stone. I've got eight. I mean, no, we're, I have seven. We're looking at eight is what I meant to say. Come on, drop it in. Drop it in. Okay, I guess it's not actually... Oh, there we go. Upgrade. Bam. Done. Let's get one more civilian now. Oh, I actually have to stop the raids to get this to work. I don't feel like I really need the, the fame, or fame anymore. Let's go for instead lore next time around when they, when they come back. I'll, I'll load them up with the third person, though. Our scouts found ancient riches worth 100 crones and 50 lore. Beautiful. Scout, you want to come down here? Let's colonize this. Let's get this scout down here. We'll get ready to grab this, and then we also have some uh, sheep here to help us out with some wood. We have enough lore to acquire our new knowledge. Beautiful. All right, Scout, get right in there. What uh, do I want to do now? Exotic goods, plus two happiness per harbor, plus three if upgraded. It is indeed upgraded, so there. Tons of nice new happiness. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, friends. Uh, however, I got kind of confused. Oh, yeah, I was waiting for my... Oh, hold on. Our territory is under attack. Please tell me we can defend it naturally. Maybe... If I do some kiting, like watch this, right? Come after me, come after me. Ah, oh, this is like some they are billions nonsense. Oh God, he's coming back. You got this. You got this here, shoot him. Now it's your turn. Ooh, that's how it's done. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I gotta come over here though and get you in this uh, boat before I flip out. Great, now that I got three out of three, we're going for fame, start the raid, beautiful. But let's get one more civilian over here on healing. We are going to have a rat infestation soon. We'll probably need two on that. And food has become a major, major, major concern for me at this point. I'm going to have to upgrade my Hunter's Lodge because I have no other choice, I don't think. It's the only way I can get some immediate food. Meanwhile, did that scout ever finish this up? No, they're still working here. Let's move our sheep now that we've got control of them. One to our main territory. And one to... Let's see, i got three buildings here. Two here. Three here. I'm going to say this territory right there is probably good enough. Looking good. All right, we are going to have an infestation soon, so to prepare for that, let's immediately just have two healers to get rid of the sick people as much as possible. The Hunter's Lodge, that's upgraded. Let's grab another villager and get them into the lodge. Beautiful. That's as much food as I can really get, but that's obviously nowhere enough. We just got another 100 crones and another 50 lore exploring there. So now, I need this stone. We got to kill that bear. Need to kill these droger. I need more food. 
like, really desperately. And there's none on the map. How do I... What do I do? Alright, rats just ate 48 of my food. And we got three people who are sick. Well, we're working on that. I can improve the tools of my fishers, which seems kind of lame to invest into that right now, but kind of need to. Let's go for hunters and fishers. There goes 10 iron. Uh, I got five more iron, which is just enough to build my a war chief. Let's do that. Voila. And let's go find out where I want to go next. Probably. How's this droger camp? If I go there, I can come up here and get all the stone, which is great for upgrading. Uh, I'll turn to that. Come over here. I get this guy who will help me scout. I can come over here and kill this droger camp and we get lore. Mm. I'm just going to go here because this looks like the easiest one. We got three droger here. Come on. Come on, war chief. Hacky backy, friend. One, two, three, four, five, six. You are really bad. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lord, it's awful. My happiness is really bad, but it's only because we're sick and we have wounded people. But I do have two people working on that, so... That'll pass. It's just because of the infestation. I did pass a new lore threshold here. Let's not make sure my war chief dies. He's not going to succeed here. Oh, maybe he will. I got a couple seconds to figure this out. Um, market income? Okay, I don't have time to read that. No, 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 don't die, don't die. Woo-wee! All right, let's come over here to grab my healing. Let's make sure the war chief's getting healed. That's something you can do, someone pointed out in the comments. Once he's healed up just a little bit, we'll come kill this last droger. And then I can expand down there with crones. God, the, the wood chopping is so deep in this game. It's like, boom, boom, it just feels satisfying. All right, that's probably enough. Let's get in. Bam, bam. Nice job, war chief. Come on back here. Hold the fort down. 100 crones, new territory, more happiness. Just like that. Where the heck did my scout go? Huh? Yeah. Ooh? Sounds about right for us. Ooh, fish. Okay, great. I was going to come this way anyway. We can actually come here next. Did I already... Oh, bloody hell. I shouldn't have come over here because there's nothing here that I need. I just assumed I was going to come through here to get to the better territory. But actually, I could come through here to get to the bear territory, which I did not realize was an option. Let's see how my um, sick people are doing, though. I don't want anyone dying. Yeah, everyone's pretty much fine here. We're under attack. Let's get my war horde over here. War herd. War band. I'll just call it the right thing, right? My healer's up there. You know what? I'm, I don't think I want the healer fighting, because he's the one who's got to do all the healing. So, like, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we took care of that guy. Awesome. Okay, if you guys wouldn't mind, I would really like my war, uh, war chief to come over here and clear out these three droger, and then we can get another fishing thing, which is great because I already have that upgraded. Uh, the tools upgraded, rather. So, food is a really big issue right now. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, the miners are over here. Done. All right, let's get rid of the mining camp then. Can I build another one anywhere in the town? No, I cannot. The woodcutter's lodge. I may be better off, honestly, getting one of you to stop chopping there. We'll grab this one over here and we'll upgrade it because I have the stone. Great. And then we'll get you and actually convert you into a wood chopper. And then this is being in a forest fully upgraded with three people is going to be much more efficient. You come back there. In fact, that's probably enough that I don't even need this last guy. Let's run him back there. And maybe even delete this building because it's costing us a little bit of maintenance. Yeah, 16 wood is plenty. Let's get rid of this woodcutter's lodge. Okay. In the home zone. Now you back over there are awesome. Looking good now. Looking very good. All right. Next up, I need more crones. And for crones, I'm going to need to build a marketplace, I believe. Merchants. We can go trade with those uh, doofers over there. You come up here, work on that. I think I already took the technology. Whoa, I got a ton of... Yeah, well, let's take the coinage right now to because I'm going to build markets. I mean, um, I'm going to build merchants in just a second. Improve trade routes. Increase your trading routes, crones income. All right. And marketplace supply. Maybe I should do that one next. Or Scout was hurt. That's, that's okay. How many people are wounded right now? 20%. We have too many wounded. I got five people wounded. We're working on that. Our Scout was hurt. No, our clan can't grow because it's unhappy. Okay, my war chief's at full here. Let's get him in this territory and go take down some of these doofers. If I can grow out here and get that food from this uh, fish, we'll be in a much better position. Looks like we're coming into winter, though, at which point I, I, I do much worse fighting because I'm not the uh, clan of the bear, which does better. 
Yeah, so there's no real sense for me hanging out there. Let's fall back. We'll heal up, and then we'll come back in there maybe in the spring, and we'll expand there next. How much? That's going to be 116 or 290 food. Okay, and then we can come over here and kill this bear and get all this stone. Before I do that stone, I probably want to get mining efficiency, though. I think I'm pretty much down here, except maybe the improved trade routes. I don't know. Let's get you over here working on that said trade route. Marketplace. Okay, great. Oh, wait a minute. It wasn't a marketplace that I wanted. Uh, did I build the wrong building? I wanted a trading post. Bloody hell. All right, well, I can put that there, I suppose. <laughs> I'll get another civilian out here working on that. How's my uh, water chief here? He's getting healed up. He's getting healed up pretty quickly. All right, 148 crones plus 10. A 450 wood plus one. We're in the winter. 138 food minus six. And we're at negative one happiness only from wounds, which we're about to heal up right now. Portals leaving to Hellheim are opening. Oh, God. Oh, look at this, guys. The red guys are coming in here. I want to make sure I'm the one who colonizes this. I'm going to actually kill this red guy. Yep, thanks for killing those Droger. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, what a cheeky cheekers. Let me come over here now. I have enough lore to acquire a new knowledge. Improved trade routes. Okay, that probably makes a lot of sense. Let's do that one. Ooh, I can do a blessing as well. Let's do the happiness. We gain three happiness, I think. Yeah, definitely. That'll help out a ton. Now that we've got this thing built up here, it's time to build in a fishing hut. Which is here. Fisherman's cottage. You can toss it, like, right up over, uh... I don't know where I can put it. Does it, does it make any difference? Really? I don't think so. I'll put it right there. Now let's go grab any old civilian and get him on down here. Beautiful. Okay. Looks like we've got most things ready here. You work on this trading thing. Let's build a trade route now. Let's go trade with the kobolds. Oh, wait a minute. I have nothing I can trade them. While it is winter, I will have enough wood to trade them. To the kobolds, minus six wood, plus six crones. Start the trading. Sure, we're negative right now, but that'll that'll balance out. And then let's see if at all possible. Plus 20 production, I can upgrade. I got the eight stone. Let's do that. Let's actually get this one person over here from the market. I don't really need it as much. Our territory is under attack. Oh, it's actually really bad. It's really bad. There's a wolf in there. I can't do anything about it, though. Besides run away. I needed that fishing hut, too, because we have these portals about to open in any second now. So let's just wait for those, and we'll go back there in a second. This guy needs to be here to, to take these guys out. And there they are. Yep. <laughs> I think I think we'll be okay up here, because I got, like, four guys. Five guys in that territory. We can take that one out, as long as I'm a little bit uh, smart like this. See? Yeah. Very smart. I did that. How close am I to losing this territory? Not close. We'll be okay. My war chief here will take care of this. We'll move him back over here. We'll have him clear out this wolf, and we can get back in there building our fishing. And you're just sitting around, like, waiting, bored out of your mind. Yeah, I realize. Let's get another person up here working on my trading post. I've got one. Interestingly enough, I thought I had two there, but it turns out I had zero. Oh, I must have misclicked it, because now I've got two working over here in the marketplace. That's not really what I wanted, but whatever. Crones are going through the roof, friends. Through the roof. Let's come build our lighthouse now. And on top of our harbor. This will allow us, if we wanted to, to start approaching our victory. Let's go to the Great Roots, and let's just do the home here. Now, so the way this works is you can minus five gold for crones for however long, but you get plus five um, mercantile influence. Oh, no, commercial influence. That's what it is. Uh, now, if you quadruple the amount of money you spend, you can double the amount of influence. And then if you double that again, you can increase by 50% your influence. So it really makes a lot of sense to do the home one as early as possible and let it run for as long as possible. Now then, we did clear this out. So I can come up here with my builder. We can work on this farm. And next up, we gotta go kill this bear and take all this stone, because I need me some stone uh, for sure. Speaking of, is this thing done here? The trading post? Yes. Is it upgraded? Yes. Our territory is under attack. But, but, they'll be fine. It's just one little do for a wolf. Okay, he's punched into the ground. Good. My war chief's ready to go, I think, against this bear. Let's get in there. 
Let's see what he can do. Come on, you got this. 15, 10, 75. 10, 13, 80. Interesting. So it seems like it's a pretty fair fight. We're probably not going to win. We have to go back and heal up a little bit first. Yeah, we're not going to win that right on one on the first go. But we will win it on the second one. And then I have enough crones that I can go crazy. All right, Earthquake coming up, end of the season. Got to make sure I have enough wood, but I've got that, so that's fine. Got my War Chief, though. He's trying. He's trying his best. Okay, let's pull him back before I lose him. That got really close there. I did not need to let it go that low. We'll just wait a few seconds here. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's get him back in there to kill that. Let's get this civilian on the Fisher Hut. Let's get another villager now uh, up on this Fisher Hut. Great, we grabbed this territory. Let's go for Colonize 136. They're beautiful. We can probably just stay here. Heal up. Ooh, lots of wolves down there. That's a lot of wolves. Am I trading with these kobolds? I believe I am. Okay, we've got this territory now. So it's time to build a mine. Now let's do it. So let's go get some more civilians. Civilians. Beautiful. One and two. I guess what I'm not going to do is actually go through sharp actions and mining efficiency. It's a little too late for that, I think. Maybe not. Uh, it's just going to take a long time. I guess I could do a little bit on lore if I really wanted to. I do have a lore building somewhere, right? Yeah, right here. All right. Let's... Uh, it's not you because you're building. You. Let's have you go work on this lore building. I've got four people wounded. And I'm going to guess that we're working number one on my warlord, which is probably smart. Can't grow because we need more houses. All right, I will actually go to mining efficiency. Let's do sharp axes first. Uh, for houses, can I upgrade any? No. I'm going to have to build some new ones. Let's build another one uh, up over here. It looks like a pretty useless place, right? So we'll do that. You're busy over there. Let's have you come this direction. Great. Now, I really need some people's stone mining here. I guess I don't technically need them right away. I kind of want to get the lore first for mining efficiency. The more of this I mine first, the less good it's going to be for me in the long run. I got crones up the wazoo, though. 480 crones, and they're going through the roof. You know what? I have so many, I may even think about increasing here to the better route. Uh, let me let me actually start it and hit the V key to check the victory conditions. So, in terms of trade, build the lighthouse. I've got 111 influence. I'm actually losing. Someone else has 28%. I've got 15. But now I'm going to be catching up for sure. So that's interesting. I'm only making six crones, though. So I can shut that off every once in a while if I really need a better income. But one of the things I absolutely have to do here, as soon as I get more civilians... There we go. We built that house. Can we upgrade it? No, we need stone. Let's get you back down here, becoming a miner. Beautiful. My war chief is done. I should probably start killing something somewhere, right? Over here, I can get some free scouting if I heal this bird up and we get more stone. Did I ever get this fishing hut all the way upgraded? I did not. I need eight stone, though. I'm working on it. Okay, we got four wolves here. Can my war chief solo them all? Four, five swings per... I don't... He's already half down, but he's killed one. No, he cannot. Let's pull him back. He killed two of them. Next turn, he can do another two. I've got the money to really colonize again, so... I just want to try to make sure I, I stay ahead of everyone else. So I'll, I'll switch between doing, like, the, the second most efficient and the most efficient victory conditions here. And I really probably need to expand even more, but, you know, there's not much... Oh, there's another four. Oh, there's actually a great lot of good stuff down here now that I'm looking. I should probably work on all of this. Instead of instead of trying to get this stone that's protected. In fact, that is way smarter because this is on a... Degara was telling me this in the comments. So nobody can come up here because it's past the cobalt. So that's like a natural defensive area for me. I can expand into it later. This, however, uh, we have to, to colonize because it's bordering the red guys and I want to cut him off. In fact... One thing I'd really like to do is start building some defensive things here. Let's get some random civilians working on those. Let's come in here with my war chief. 
Oh, wait a minute. Can that... Is this not a join? Do I have to go over here? Looks like maybe. Either way, we can kill all these guys, no problem. We'll, we'll just kill them all. What's down here in this? This is a forest. Okay, my war chief is a little beat, beaten up. We'll come back. We'll kill that again. Then we'll come over here. We'll take this one. And then hopefully we'll move down here towards this one where I can get some more food and some more iron. That's a very important one. Or maybe I'll do this one, then that one. Our territory is under attack up here, do you say? By a bunch of... A single wolf, actually. We'll be fine. We'll kill it. Speaking of under attack, let's go for a defensive tower like right here. Since that's a place I mean, I'm, they may come through eventually. And I've got the resources to do it right now. It's 20 crones, 60 wood. We've got tons of that stuff. We'll put another one here. Great. All the places they can attack. Okay, I should be good to come in here now and slaughter these wolves. And we can expand. Oh, that guy just took this territory. Okay, that's fine. I didn't really want that one much. I want this one down here. There's the uh, earthquake. Let's grab this territory. Let's colonize it really quick. And let's go find some villages here to go repair everything. We only have one, it looks like, at the moment. Where is everyone? I gotta find more. Let's have you converted. Beautiful. Have you come up here to repair our, uh, repair our main building there. Now, if you come over here to convert... No, 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 not you. Not you. You stay as you are. You convert, and then you come over here and repair the healer site. Okay. That should be everything repaired. Okay. And then you guys can both get back into healing, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. And yes. Okay. Whew, I'm doing all right, I think. I don't know, maybe. Uh, let's get some more civilians building up these walls on the border frontiers here. And my war chief, I really want this territory next. It's got four wolves, though. Oh, looks like I'm actually being attacked by the blue war chief, and I'm not prepared for that in the slightest. Let's fall back to our territory. Wow, he just ran right in there. Wow, this is a highly contested area, and he can beat me easily. And I already colonized that, so if he takes it, I lose all my colonization ability. But I can't do anything about it. Uh, I could maybe grab some civilians. No, they're all they're busy building walls here. I'm gonna lose this territory. Nothing I can do about it. Better than losing my war chief. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, freaking big doofus fool. This guy's actually beating up my civilians here, but I can defeat him. I think. Actually, can I? No, he's hitting me. He's hitting me. But we need to use the civilians to tank. I'm actually not going to be able to beat him. I'm actually not going to be able to beat him in my own territory. Holy mother of heavens. Why am I being attacked by two different war chiefs at the same time? Get out, get out, get out. Okay, I need to find my healers over here. You guys need to focus the war chief. Can they focus him while he's in the territory? Okay, I think that's enough to win. Let's go. Nice. Held on to that territory, at least. Although it's really super annoying. Now I'm probably starving because all my fishermen were killed. Let's get my miner over here and turn them into a fisherman. Fishing hut upgrade. Let's get another someone somewhere. Oh, my war chief died probably from sickness from not having food because he killed all my stupid farmers and then I... Oh, God, everything's going wrong. And the red guy pushed out here and took this territory, which means he has boxed in this one for himself with the iron and the meat. Oh, no. This is where it all goes downhill. Can I upgrade my healer's hut? No, I need the eight stone, and I've got zero people working on stone right now. All right, well, three woodcutters is enough. I got no iron to upgrade anybody. I don't need the Lord Master anymore. Let's turn them into a fisherman. Bloody hell. Fisherman, three out of three. Hunter's Lodge, three out of three. This is not going to be enough. I could pull off a lumber mill guy for a little bit here. Go. Where, where, where are we? We're in the middle of February, so we'll get through this, but we're going to have a lot of sickness and a lot of people might die, which is terrible. God, that a combined assault from two different people there was insane. The blue guy came up, beat me down, and the red guy ass assassinated me at the same time. That was awful. And my war chief died from, like, sickness when it was all said and done. 
Meanwhile, we're still negative five food. Come on, winter, you can't end fast enough. We're almost there. A few more minutes. Yep, people are dying. There we go. There we go. Now we've got the food. No longer starving. The sickness is going down a bit. We got a lot more happiness. I got tons of stuff here. Let's go for the mining efficiency. Yeah, I got Jarl. That's fine. I don't care about the mercenaries so much right now. I don't care at all about these guys. What I really need is more stones, especially now that we got the resources going. A 39 there. Two out of three fishers. I think a lot of people just died, honestly. All right, let's get a little bit more mining up here. So two out of two on that. I, you know what? I could have... Oh, I didn't think about it, but I could have just bought some food. I mean, it's really inefficient, though. Really inefficient, but I could have done it. Speaking of buying, I'm going to need more iron now, and I don't have any... I can't connect down here to build my war chief, and I got zero iron. So if I want to get a new war chief, I'm going to have to spend $250 on iron. All right, we got to do it. And then I need to save up. Oh, now, now I'm actually losing. All right, let's do this. Let's shut off. Let's stop this route entirely. Now we're under attack over here by a wolf. I've got one guy with... He's dead. <laughs> My whole colony is... Wow, did that go bad fast. Everyone is sick everywhere right now. Okay, maybe I can build the war chief. Okay, my war chief just got regenerated. Need $150, we're at $140. Maybe I can build one and have him just come over here and kill this uh, hound before too long. Yeah, there we go. It's done. Let's get him over here. Kill that. We won't lose this territory. Wow. Like, the, the, the wildlife is beating me back right now. That chain of events was insane. How many things went, like, wrong all, all at once? Pretty cool, though, that that sort of stuff can happen. Great. We took care of that. Let's come over here and think about killing this guy and taking our territory back, huh? By taking our territory back, I mean, uh, I need to get some people working on these defenses before they're, they're gone. So one guy working on that house. Thought I was building one here. They're actually building a house right here, I see. Maybe I, what I should do is build up a couple of warriors and go kill his before it's too late. You and you, come in here. Whoever's left, you, you're the one who should come over here and build that. Great, let's get my entire war, war band in here now. Let's go kill his war band before he gets this tower done. Okay. That's gonna be very difficult to pull off because he's got a lot of guys here. Yeah, it's not happening. He's gonna get that tower up and I can't do anything about it. Oh well. All I did was take a lot of wounds there. We've got no wood. Our trade route with the goblins has stopped. I forgot all about that. Wow. You know why? So I took all my people off of wood because most of them have died by this point. I got 12 people who are really, really wounded right now. I need to upgrade my clan members. We Do I have another uh, thing here? I don't. As far as I see, 304 to 490. It's just plus 8. But I don't have anything. I'm thinking my next bet here is to just go through war at this point. Just finish up war. I've really got to upgrade here. I need I need a wood to do it, though. So let's get as many civilians as I can find working on my wood choppies. God, I, had, I had like 700 wood at one point, too. Well, unfortunately, they built their tower here, so I don't think there's any chance I'm going to be able to push through that with my... Oh, and he's colonized this one, too. Bloody hell. And all of this is actually thanks to the blue guy coming in here. He didn't even want the territory. He just wanted to, like, fight me and then run away. And now this guy's got all manner of defensive. Can you upgrade defensive towers? I didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah, you can. Four stone, 40, increase. Okay, I guarantee you this is going to be a bad place. Let's do that. At this point, though, these two warriors, I know I spent the crones to, to make them into warriors. They're no longer useful to me. Let's go into fishing with one of them. Okay, and then the other ones. I heard someone die. Are you kidding me? Rats have spread to Z. I've been sick for 90% of this game. Oh my lord. Uh, let's get over here in the trading, I suppose. Let's let's rebuild our trade route with the kobolds. We will trade them wood for crones. Looks good. Start the route. What are the other routes you can do? 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Let's do this. But you also gain a lot more money trading that. Interesting. But only to other people. Plus 8 right here with Torun for negative 6 stone. Huh. 
Fascinating. That's a lot of money. Anyway, let's go. We'll just we'll just stay on the wood like we were doing. And then hopefully next up, I gotta upgrade with as soon as I get 80 wood, I've gotta upgrade my healer side. It doubles the healing capacity. So many people are wounded right, right now. It's insane. Okay, there we go. Good. That'll be much better. Two out of three healers. I almost want another one to really, really, really finish everything up here. Like, 11 people are wounded and within an inch of their lives, so. Okay, yeah, they're, they're going through that. Oh, no, the kobolds have been defeated, my friends. My f my friendly neighborhood kobolds. All right, well, let's build a trade route a trading to... Let's make friends with Torin then, I suppose. And we'll start that up. All right, let's take a look at the victory conditions here. So trade-wise, I'm at 601 commercial influence. Actually, no. I'm, I'm Yeah, I'm number one. I'm at 601, but I'm number one. So I need to get my economy up and at him here again. And that's going to require a lot of stuff. I think we've got as many healers as possible. Yes, they're healing up. Good. And we've got our three lumberjacks. How's our fishing huts? We got one out of three. So l what the heck is this? Now we're under attack. Where the heck are we under attack now? Another wolf. Let's get this guy over here. Oh, I started building a tower and never finished it. Okay, well... Next civilian will work on that. Let's get the merchant back here, though, before he gets wrecked. Get out of the territory, little doofus merchant. Let the war guy take care of it. Okay, wonderful. Get yourself back in there. 23 out of 31 on the pop cap. That's looking fine. Okay, now I'm actually in jeopardy of losing this territory. So let's come up. No, I'm not, because he can't connect to that, right? That's just my own territory. It's all for me. I think my war... Regardless, I can come kill these guys and, and grab it, for sure. Finally got some more civilians. Let's make sure we go upgrade these walls. So we'll do that one there. This thing here, I'd love to upgrade, just to be sure. Okay, you come back and heal up. Let's grab this here. 156, we're going to grab that territory. And maybe my warlord can come down in this direction and move up to the left. All right. A new lore. Let's go for a weaponsmithing this time. Actually, recruitment might not be bad because I need a lot of people. But at the same time, do I even need to fight? Well, there's a lot of happiness with having a warlord. So kind of. Yes, let's do it. Plus, the defensive strategy is awesome for uh, having your towers be stronger. War chief, get in here and start killing these guys. Good. Now, let's make sure... Actually, we're still working on that. We want to upgrade that, though, as soon as it's done. Warchief is pretty lame. It's gonna be forever until I can upgrade him, though, but he can't even take on three Drogar by himself. I think it's Drogar. Actually, if they're Poro, someone told me in the comments. Ooh, I'm mean, for 57 minutes. Feels like 56 seconds. Uh, I'm spending money in this marketplace, but I suppose there's no sense in deleting it, though, right? Change the trade routes. I am doing wood. The alternative is food. Torden. Mm. Okay, this tower is nearly done, so... What, what do we need to upgrade here? Oh, my lord. Are, one under attack. Oh! Okay. They're coming over here, I see. So, hopefully we can deal with that. But what do I need to send this guy to? Gotta make sure. A lot of, a lot of buildings got, like, lost a lot of stuff. Like my fisherman hut, they just a lot of people just died in here. By the time my war chief gets over here, yeah, we'll we'll defend this for sure. It's just gonna be like majorly annoying. Nice, he's gone. Nice. Let's get someone over here. Oh, it's winter. I clicked on it, turned winter all at the same time. He's running away. I wonder if my war chief now by himself can come down here and defeat this tower. No, he's got guys in here. He's actually got a lot of guys doing a lot of stuff, but they're all busy. Now he's got one guy sitting here. He's always got at least somebody, it seems. And it's also winter, so this might not be the best time for me. I'm under attack. How the hell am I under attack? Over there by wolves? Okay, let's get out of here. I'm up. Oh! Lost my war chief because I wasn't paying attention because I got attacked by stupid wolves. Like six wolves all at the same time. Well, that was going on. No! Now I, in order to get another war chief, I gotta buy iron. Again. Whew. It's rough, this game. 
All right, let's take a minute here to look around. My brewery's two out of two. I would love to upgrade it next. Although we're about to be out of food again, so... No surprises there, right? Let's take, check my fishing. I got three out of three fishers. Up here, we're looking at one out of three. So let's get uh, two people over here fishing. One. And then as soon as you're done repairing, actually... Actually, even before to that, go now before I start starving. That, that's repaired enough. I really need... No, we're under attack again. What are we under attack by this time? Another wolf. What are you What are you wolves thinking? Ooh, however, I mined out all this quarry, so let's destroy that building. Beautiful. And I think we can build another quarry over here. I never actually colonized this territory. Wow, I was going to at one point, but didn't. Let's get two of you guys. One of you is probably enough. Uh, go merchanting. Go merchanting. Great. What's How's my victory doing here? I'm still number one on trade. Both of you guys, honestly, don't even know what to tell you. How's my happiness? Everything's good all around. I got three people doing the harbor. Three healers, three hunters, two in the market. One only only one in the trading post. Let's get let's get that pulled back up. Fisher's hut looking good. Okay. And I got one guy out here. Let's have them come repair to this base then. A little bit. They can repair to this base. And then next up, I got to expand to this territory, 156. Just did it. That's all my money right there. The next amount of money, I probably need to buy a war chief and not lose it again. That was so bad. Now that I have this, I can heal this little bird. And then he'll go scout for us a little bit. And I have nothing else really to heal, so we're already working on that. But more importantly, I can build stone. I've already got 35, though, so is this even worth it? I don't know. We'll do it regardless. We'll get someone up there working on it. And I got this nice circle of stones here. I could get more lore to really help buff my war chief. Maybe I should do that with my next two civilians. Although another thing I need to do is upgrade my brewery when I get seven more of wood. Which, quite frankly, we were about to run out of wood, but now we're gaining some more. But not really much. Firewood? Oh, because we're trading it. Right. Yes, that makes some sense. All right, well, there's no nothing really good down here. This is not really all that useful. I wanted this territories, but I'm never going to take it from that guy. Like, I'm never going to build a big enough water band to deal with it. So, uh, you come over here and finish up this repair. Beautiful. Okay, you're done. Let's have you work. Okay, you're busy repairing, and you're doing nothing. Let's have you come work on that stone. You know what I'm going to do, believe it or not, because I have a lot of stone? I'm actually going to do the, the stone trade route to Torin for nine gold. I got so much. I'm making a ton of income here. What I really need is wood, and that's going to make us uh, have a lot more wood. Portals leading to Helheim have opened. Okay, well, let's uh, quickly rebuild my war chief. This time, let's try to not lose them, shall we? We're under attack over here. Let's go kill those Droger then. Perfect timing, by the way. Let's just, let's just kite this guy in a circle we shoot him with a bunch of hunters. Yo, you little doofus. Way to get kited. Way to get kited. And get erect. Let's get up here and finish up the, these two guys here and colonize this last territory. Oh, my bird's almost fully healed as well, which is pretty cool. Not that it really matters. He's just going to scout some things that don't... That aren't really all that relevant. I really, 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 though, this whole time, should have been doing this home trade route, at the very least. It's just very efficient to, to be doing that. And let's colonize this over here with Crohn's. 180. Great. Okay. Now, let's get... Uh, actually, I got two villagers doing nothing, right? Let's get them set up to do this... Uh, this circle of stones, I get some extra lore, and then I can buff up my, lo uh, not lord, but war chief quite a bit more. Oh, you guys need to go back to where you were. I want just the war chief up here. There we go. You actually go back to where you are. Okay, great. The brewery is the next upgrade. Bam, we'll take care of that. The next uh, villager is going to go into the brewery for the happiness. I'm going to need another house soon, but I may have one to upgrade. I do out here. Let's do that. I got plenty of stone. Okay, so we got another six of population we can support there. We're good over here. 
Lore is coming along a lot faster now, plus 15. And we're standing on this portal. The next portal's down here, but you know what? We've got... Actually, that's a huge portal. Hmm. Hmm. But this has no defenses, and this one has a tower, so... I think the tower can handle it. Okay, Warchief took care of that. Let's get him over here to fight up on these guys. The tower will single-handedly take care of this. And speaking of towers, let's upgrade this one there. Oh wow, these Drogar are actually killing this goblin camp. Crazy. I wonder if this guy got wrecked as well. I would love to move into his territory. He did not. I could take this goblin camp, but I'm kind of friends with this guy, so I don't really want to. Unless they take it from him, then I can move into it. Hell, that's not a bad idea. Uh, let's get one random villager here to go repair to this building. Let's get my water chief down here to attack these guys. How many territory? I actually have 12 out of 12 territory. I could go for a fame victory if I wanted to. Interesting. Speaking of, what about the altar of kings? I need 300 wood and 300 crones. Like, the crones will be no problem. The wood I will actually get not too long from now. Why don't I colonize this for 200 crones in just a second here? Oh, oh, there we go. I, I healed my bird. I got 100 lore, and he's now flying around, which means I got another um, expansion here. Let's go for defensive strategy to increase my civilian's attack and your defensive tower's resistance by 20. Feeling safe will give us a ton of happiness as long as we have a war chief and every upgraded every upgraded um, military camp because this plus one as well. And increase our military attack unit's power by up to 25% based on our crones in stock. Which is very interesting. Let's grab this territory. Nobody else has it, so sure, I'll take it. I know I have a defensive tower here that's fully upgraded, but still, I, I, will, I, will, I will do that. And you know what I will do then is build another defensive tower, like right here. And I'll have this civilian come down there and work on it. Great. We've destroyed a wolf's cave. We've gained 30 fame and 5 stone. Thank you very much. Alright, colonize this. Oh, really? Huh. Either food or crones, but it just says colonize for 100 food no matter what. But it's got four Valkyries. Let's look at their... They have 20 attack, 8 defense, 88 hit points. So I have 75 hit points. They got more. I've got 15, 18 attack and 10 defense. Uh, It's like 50-50 if I could maybe fight one to the death, but four of them, they are just going to wreck me so fast. It's going to be a joke. An absolute joke. All right, though, this is, I'm feeling uh, fairly mildly confident about this. I mean, as far as trade goes, I am 42% of the way there. Fame, victory, I actually have enough territories. I just need more actual fame. And I, I you know what? I have been doing lore this whole time, so I could have pushed over to fame a long time ago, but I'm kind of enjoying the lore a little bit. It's helping me out quite a bit. Wood, I need 300 wood, and I think it was 300 crones to build the Altar of Kings. Not a bad idea. I think I'll just wait for that a little bit here. And then let's see, what should I do with my Warlord? I'm not sure. Should I upgrade this? No, because I need the crones. I need 300, 300. So maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Either way. Oh, I got a new area revealed, thanks to my bird. Way down there in the, in the southeast. Doesn't matter so much, though. Let's get someone up here. This is all... Hmm. Well, I get a market here. Or more crones. Let's upgrade it. And I'll throw my last uh, civilian up over there. The more income, the better, right? Especially if I want to bump up to the next tier. The next tier is very expensive, though. Training camp, if I upgrade this. Nah, I don't want to spend the crone. Oh, hey. Oh, did I just blow wood on the market upgrade? I did. And then I can't build my altar of kings as a result. Well, that's fine. I guess I can blow some... No, nah, because this is more of wood. I wonder if I should just build another uh, logging camp. There was another logging camp down here, unfortunately. Oh, there's my bird flying around. Or friendly bird, anyway. It's not really my bird. All right. Well, we're in October. We're coming up on a winter here pretty soon. I'm feeling pretty well defended here, at least. I mean, I got my... The one place the red guys can come through, I've got a tower there. I've got my war chief not too far away. The next zone over that he has... Well, he could actually come through here, but whatever. We've already explored all the ruins. I guess I could work at this lore stone if I really wanted to. I've got some extra civilians. We've got some extra food. Let's go for it. 
278 here. We're going to build that altar. Where are we going to build it? Good question. One out of three. I'm going to build it up here in the middle of nowhere because there's nothing out here. It might make sense for me to build a second harbor, actually, now that I think about it. That would be so many crones. But then I got to feed all these people and I don't really have the food for it. And I can't really get more food anywhere. I am. Oh, you know what I could do is improve my tools, but I can't even do that because I got no iron. Because this yoinker yoinked my iron and then mined it all. So the only thing we can do is buy more iron, which, by the way, I can do because I have a lot. So I suppose that's an option. Six fishermen. They are upgraded. Probably should upgrade my merchants if I really, really was thinking about it. But it's going to cost me, like, 300 crones to do that. Speaking of 300 crones, let's build the altar up here right now. And let's get someone over there to build that. Beautiful. I could actually win a fame victory, believe it or not. Let's take a look here at the fame victory. Who's winning? Torren has 73. You have 65. Maybe I should drop out a lore here. I really wanted to get the feeling safe, though, first. I don't care about Monster Slayer. Improves your war cheese attack by 50%. That'd be incredible, but it's going to take me so much effort to get to it. I'm not sure it's a smart idea. Um, I'm going to do this. Let's build a harbor as my next thing. I'm really short on the wood, though. I guess I can build a woodcutter's lodge back in my base, even though I tore it, tore it out a long time. What happened to it? Oh, as I clicked it, I guess I ran out of the resources needed to build it because I'm losing so much wood. We're only in December, too. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually completely run out of wood. Beware, you're under attack. And we're under attack up down here. Let's get up there and defend this zone, shall we? That's what I hate about this. He shows up and he kills all my fishermen. It's going to be like three people dead every single time. And he loses three warriors. I mean, I guess I can replace fishermen fat easier than he can replace warriors. But let's, let's kite him around here. Yeah, now you leave, of course. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Okay, now I'm being attacked over here by a Valkyrie of all things. Okay. One of them came out. There's only three there. That's fascinating. Well, let's grab uh, two more people here to go back to that fishing hut. Unfortunately, since he did that, I am now about to lose enough food. By the time these guys get here, I'm going to be completely out of food. We're almost out of wood, but not quite yet. Uh, nice. I killed the Valkyrie. Uh, let's get one more villager who's doing nothing and have them come down here and repair this uh, base up a little bit. Don't have the wood. We can at least get him over there, though. Am I fighting anyone else anywhere else? We revealed the new area right down here, apparently, with the Volkner. Ooh, these Valkyries are actually pretty not that well off. Or we're completely out of wood, we're completely out of food, and it's January. Holy mother of heavens. Nothing I can do but wait this one out. We're freezing and we're starving. Where are all my sheep? My main territory and over here, that's probably the best I can do. Oh, no, there is something I can do. I got tons of... I can buy some food, and I can buy some wood. There we go. Take care of all of our issues. Forgot about that. We got enough lore to do a new knowledge. Let's do um, a feeling safe for the, all the extra happiness. Great, we'll take care of that last issue I have there. And I think I actually want my harbor to switch over now to fame. So we'll probably... Do I have to stop it, or can I resume the raid and just click on fame? Yeah, I think so. They, they changed that interface a little bit. Clan members are not doing anything. You, your healer, and you, you need to come over here and repair now that I have the wood. Uh, however, that's going to put me out of wood again. I'm going to buy some more. I got some money, though. Let's do it. And I'm going to be out of food very soon. We're in February. Whew, okay. Still actually almost out of food, though. Uh, and this mining thing did get destroyed. Or let's destroy it. We did we did clear it out. Let's get both of you, like, back over there. Just doing whatever you guys want. And by whatever you want, I mean getting, like, food. Just basic food gathering. Okay. So, here's my little uh, cubby here. Let's get you back on the base now, working on food gathering. And then we'll come over here, we'll upgrade this. 40 wood, I've got that. 40 whatever, 4 stone, we've got that. Beautiful. Nice new solid defenses. 
Oh, I knew it. I looked over here for two seconds, and look who's coming, guys. Look who's coming. All three of you guys. I'm sick of you guys dying. Run away. Run away. Run into the next zone. Okay, run, run back over here. Let's actually work on his war chief. You guys could come over here and probably kill the war chief now. Yeah, he's he's dead. He's dead. Nice try, you freaking doofus. Nice try. That's what you get. Wow, that guy. It's a cheeky hacker. Let's get another villager over here, though, uh, grabbing some of this food. Beautiful. And then the last thing I really need to do is build another harbor. I'm going to go for the victory, guys. We're going to do it right now. Let's toss up another harbor right here. Uh, let's get a villager up there. I barely have the food, though, is the thing. How can I get more food besides buying it? I don't think I can. I think buying it's my only option. I mean, I have a food silo, which increases, uh, you know, by 10%, and it's, ju it's just wood. So I suppose that's one option I can do. Brush! Where can I do that, though? We got three out of three fish here. We can do it uh, pretty much nowhere. I have to develop these areas. Let's do it. Let's put a food silo here. Uh, and let's get one civilian over there working on it. Great. Okay. Let's take a look at the victory conditions here. Wisdom. Uh, I'm actually number two. That's good. So I'm not going to lose to that, most likely. Helheim, take control of it. Zero out of... Oh, you have to control it for 12 months. Wow. Okay, didn't realize that. That's crazy. We're done up here. Let's get some people in. We got one, two, and we will have three when I upgrade. I can't upgrade. I need wood. All right, well, we'll get a third person... Um, we'll get a third person over here ready for it. So now we're negative food, though. I got the wood right now. Let's upgrade it. Beautiful. You guys hop in. You hop in. Let's go for raiding more fame. Hop in, hop in. Start the raid. Okay. We got tons of happiness. No food. The winter's gonna be painful and ten tenths if I don't find a way to get food. We've revealed a new area with our bird. Not that that matters too much. I can't really take any food. God, I wish I had this territory though. I would have secured the victory with just that territory. But I can't get there. And I cannot really... I might be able to afford building an army. I wanted to put a lot of effort into it, though. I've only got 10 more to stone, too, and then I'm done. You guys are working on fame. Yes, you are. Good. Oh, I'm actually going to win a fame victory before I do anything else. Holy mother of heavens. Like, inadvertently winning fame instead of commerce. Huh. My commerce is coming along. I just passed 1,000. 1,000 out of 2,000. Okay, we're good over here. We're good over here. I can always buy stuff. I've got an insane amount of money. I've got so much money. I'm thinking about building a water band, but how can I afford it, though, is the thing. Let me just look through everything here. Brewery, uh, harbor, mercenaries, market, trading posts, food. I can make more food silos. It's literally my only option. So any place I can do that, let's develop the areas, and we'll toss in a food silo. And then I'll grab someone and have them go work on it. Where's my other food? I have those two territories. I got a fish up here. I wanted, I could just put one in here, actually, as well. I don't have the wood for it. Oh, no. It's going to be cold this, this winter with a blizzard. Well, I guess we can bite our way through it. Nothing else. Let's make sure someone's always repairing these towers, though. Those are very important. Yeah, they're all good so far. A healer's not really doing anything, but I, I'm loath to take him off because then I'll forget about it. I suppose I should, though. Let's get him out here. Do I really only have two fishing huts and one hunting lodge in my entire colony? That's insane. Let's put a food silo up in here if I can fit it. Okay, yes. This villager just got done repairing that. Let's come over here and work on this then. I got 12, 1300 free income right now. What's this? This is a healer doing nothing. Let's turn you off. Oh no! Vidir Fulnir has left a North Guard. He only scouted like three territories for me. I suppose it's more than zero though. All right, well. Next up, I just need to live through the winter 
and then I win one way or another. Yeah, look, I'm going to win uh, trade, and I'm going to win on fame. Either one. Probably fame first. Fame seems a little too easy. I'm not even fighting, and I'm getting, like, tons of fame here. And I'm going to get one more lore before I'm basically done with it. I think I'm going to go for legendary heroes. Just to make my one uh, war chief attack way stronger. And that's the like, only guy I'll really have. I guess I could also try to get gear upgrade. But otherwise, I'm not seeing, like, a huge value here. You have no stone. Stone wrote with Torin has stopped. Okay. Well. Do these guys still work, even though... They still work, right? Sailors 22, Merchants 21. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I've got six of them working there. Even though I'm not trading. Do I want to do any trade routes? Uh, I don't... I don't really have any excess anything. Like, I got literally nothing... So, no. I, well, I'm actually maxed on population. How long have I been maxed on population without realizing it? Not that it really matters, because I guess it actually does matter. I should have should have fixed this a long time ago. Let's go build a house over there. And did I ever end up building this one up here, the silo? Yes, I did. Can build another house, maybe, up here. Get that all taken care of. All right, well, that's pretty much everything that I can do here. I really don't need a scout thing anymore, and it costs, like, more than zero, so, you know, why don't... Oh, you can upgrade it? This is your scouting speed by 50%, huh? Whatever, let's get rid of it. I don't need it. I also don't really need my sheep here when there's only two buildings. I should probably move it someplace else. Like, this has four, this has two, this has two, this has three. Why don't we move it, uh, not you. Oh, yeah, let's actually move you over here. Not sure how that really works out. Like, is it going to save me wood or not? I don't know. Guess I'll find out the winter. We're going to have a really cold, brutal winter with very little food, but I can make it up in the marketplace. So, what's all this? Oh, these guys are trying to take control of this territory. They're all fighting each other over it. Maybe this is an opportunity for me to come down here and yoink their lance. Huh. Maybe. I can also build up some uh, some other stuff. I can build an axe thrower's camp, right? Got no reason not to. Actually, I do have a reason not to because I'm going to need the wood for the winter. It's not that much, though. We'll build a shield better camp here as well, though. Let's get someone over here working on those things. Looks good. Going to be a cold one. We have enough lore to do a knowledge. Let's do legendary heroes. Beautiful. All right, well, all these guys fight each other for control of this thing. Oh, look at this. The blue, yellow, and red guys are all fighting each other. Yellow seems to be reigning supreme. I could go in there and clean that up if I wanted to, but he's kind of my friend. I don't want to do that. He, however, has more fame than I do. So he could win that way, depending on how many territories he has. How many does he have? I don't know, and I don't know how to know either. However, a bunch more uh, Valkyries just spawned and killed him. Beautiful. How are we doing? We haven't hit the blizzard yet, but we're at negative 8, negative 10 on the food and the wood. I got 2,000 gold. I think I would already have won the game by now if I was playing on the regular mode. I don't have a huge motivation to increase the spending I'm doing on the trade victory because it looks like I'm going to win the fame victory. Maybe I should increase the spending anyway because I have way too much. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, whoops. What did I just do? Deploy mercenaries. Where did I deploy them to? Did I actually do that? No, I didn't. Mercenaries will attack selected coastal areas and state- <gasps> Can I deploy them here? Why not? It's a coastal area. It looks like I should be able to- Okay, I don't even know how to use the mercenaries. This does look like a coastal area to me. Completely forgot about this. Let's go great routes, though. I will go for- I'm gonna go for Vinland. Let's go straight for Vinland. Start the great route. We're gonna lose all of our income. Yeah, now we're negative 31. Negative 45 on food. Negative 35. This is a cold... cold all the Vi uh, Valkyries respawn. This is a cold one, guys. Deploy mercenary. Our clan is freezing. All right, I'll work on that. If I could... I can't even... It's so... It's Oh, God, I'm under attack as well. Let's get over here. Valkyries coming in. I need to buy some wood. It's cold. Holy hell, we're, we're burning through this stuff fast. 
Let's buy a little bit more, a little bit more. Great. Now, let's see if I can figure out how to do this here. Uh, deploy mercenaries, deploy mercenaries. Here. Can't do it. Okay, why not? Um, what about, like, here? Okay. You know what I could be doing this whole time, actually? Let's grab... Let's grab this place, and you can come in here and click on Explorer for $10. Same deal over here. We'll go for Explorer, and then I can see all kinds of coastal territories. Uh, I'm actually out of wood again. Where the heck is my market? Oh, it's so... It's so cold. Buy more food. That might last us through. I just blew a thousand gold since I'm, sh I'm so wood and stone-like. Oh, I'm out of wood again. Let's buy more. Gotta keep ourselves from freezing. We're out of food. Buy more. According to this, we're freezing, but I got the wood. Buy more. Holy bananas. There goes all my money. Uh, let's get out of this... Uh, I already produced 500. Let's get out of this great route. Let's go back to the, the home one there, and now I'm actually making some income. And I've actually got to buy more food and more wood. Wow. I had 2,000 crones like five seconds ago. And there we go. <laughs> wow. Well, we're no longer freezing. The sickness should be taken care of. Only a couple people are really wounded. One guy should, should handle that. Building with no workers. Oh, I don't have anybody there. Didn't realize that. It seems to me like they're attacking me over here again. Yeah, they always are. They love to go over there and kill all my guys. Freaking hate those clowns. I didn't have the time to deal with it, and I'm busy trying to do some other stuff here. Like, both of you go into healing. Thank you. Okay, I will kill this guy. And now I'm going to need, like, three peasants to come down here. So one. Two. And I think I'm going to need another one. He always hits me at, like, the worst possible time when I can't pay attention. Three. And that lack of food is super painful, too. What are you doing? Why aren't you in here? It's supposed to be full. Let's get you over here repairing them. We've got the wood. Our sailors have explored a new area. All right, well, let's blow some more. Uh, let's explore all the coastal areas then this way. Just keep doing it. As When they fill up here, they get like a free coastal area explored. All right, well, it looks like we're pretty good off here. Uh, 34 to 44 to pop. My water band's pretty much like zero. I got three out of three fish again. We're back up to making food, but very little. We got some stuff going. I got two harbors going out now. They're working on the fame. Let's take a look here. I am still winning the fame game. I've got all the areas I need. And I'm also winning by far the trading game. By far. Whew, that was an expensive winter. And as far as trade routes go, I guess I could trade away some wood to get more crones. I mean, I could do it with Torin. I mean, I've, I've got a fair decent amount, so I don't feel like I need too much more wood. Anything else to really build or am I just done here? Just automate to the end of the game. I think I built a food silo at all three of my places. Yes, I did. You know what I could do is get one more civilian down here working on this uh, lore. Oh, the building's already being worked on. I got three people working on lore, and I'm not sure if it's really worth it. I got two healers. I probably only need one. Let's get one of them off. Okay, we just got some more explorations. Let's go for another explorer. Same deal up here. Explore, explore. And let's see if I can figure this out, right? Deploy mercenaries. Mercenaries will attack the selected coastal area and stay there. And stay there is they win. Choose a coastal area to order mercenaries deployment. Oh, okay, I click on it and it shows me which ones I can go to. Why couldn't I come down he Oh, here. Inter I kind of want to do it just to see what happens. It's $200, right? I don't really want to fight this blue guy. I would love to have them come in here. Let's go for it. We've deployed some mercenaries, guys. In they come. Woo! Look at this. This is cool. What's in this territory? Nothing. A bunch of sailors. That was the problem. This was not a coastal territory. I didn't realize because it looked like... I mean, that looks like coastline to me. Oh, more mercenaries! Now, what good does this really do for me? Because I can't do anything with this, right? I guess I just blew a ton of money on it. Just to be cool. 
Uh, and it, we're not even going to win it. But I think they just keep doing it until we do win, right? It says two out of two sailors. Oh, that's because they have a ship there. Our sailors have explored a new area. All right, let's keep doing it. I got all the money in the world, right? Every single uh, territory there is. Explore. Explore. And I've got one clan member who's just a healer who just got nothing to do. I got no stone, no iron, no nothing. I'm just waiting for victory here at this point. 1,043 fame. Uh, Torin's got 1,044. No, I got 1,044 heat. No, 1,045. I just passed Torin by one. We're under attack. They know what's coming. Wait, where am I under attack? Didn't even see it. Also, what happened to my mercenaries? Ah, here they go. They're coming back in now. Oh, wait. No, they don't. That was actually their sailors. Hold on. So they only send one wave of mercenaries? They didn't even kill one defensive tower. Like... And I spent $200 on that? Exactly? Really? I wonder if I should buy some, uh... How am I gonna win? Oh, I, I kinda wanna win via this thing over here. Let's go for the Great Route. Let's go for the Milk Guard. Start the Great Route. Great. You know what? Screw that. Let's go straight to the Vinland again. I wanna be negative five gold, but at the same time, who cares? I've got a ton. We got tons of wood. We got tons of food. We're good for the winter. Explorations here any second. Sailors explore a new area. Let's go for another one. I just want to see the whole world. Show me the world. I can show you the world. Sailing in a little dinghy. I think that's the words, right? Those are the real words. I'm not even fighting, but I don't need to. I don't need to. I got 1,061 fame, guys. I am on route to victory. Nobody's taken this this place. That's for sure. Oh, the blue guys are attacking the red guys now. Fascinate. How am I going to win here is the question. I got 1,600 commercial influence. 1,065 fame. It's anyone's guess, really. I don't know. Is the fame, like, consistent or... Is it only when the ships come back? Current title, Yarl. Upgraded buildings. Territory. Upgraded building. You get fame from upgrading buildings, huh? 240 from sailors, 240 from territory, and 180 from lord. Altar of the Kings is 50 and Wolf Caves 30. Interesting. Sailors keep generating more and more. It's going to be a little while, though, because I've been running those all game. And I generate like another 130 from that. I'm not upgrading anything else. Oh, and I keep exploring, though. Does that count at all? No, I don't think so. But speaking of exploring, let's keep doing it. Is it going to stop me at some point when I'm done? Or is it just going to let me spend money to get nothing out of it? This is so much better than, like, scouts. Okay, another uh, lore. I think I might go for the gear upgrade. Your increased military attacking is depending on your crones in stock. 25% max. I'll do that. And I can grab another one of these. I didn't realize either. 20 stone, 10 iron. Four, I could have done this a long time ago. Uh, 20 stone, 10 iron will allow me to upgrade some stuff. Let's do that. Uh, and then what do I need? 14. Oh, really? I could do all three of them? I didn't realize this. I could have done that a long time ago. What the hell? Whoopsie daisy. Requires 14 out of 15 knowledge. Required to achieve... Oh, I'm almost done of wisdom victory as well. No way. How did I get so good at this game? Although technically, Gunhild is at 85% wisdom and may win that way before I do because I'm at 83. Very much fascinates. Now, I think you can build carved stones to allow you to recruit a lore master, right? Why don't I put one in my main territory? Let's just win every single way. I don't know how I got so lucky in this game. My last two were, like, really close failures. Sailors have explored a new area. This one's, like, crushing defeat. I suppose I just need to start playing on hard. Okay, I'm just going to keep exploring there as well. We got plenty of uh, happiness, plenty of food, plenty of wood, plenty of crones. We got... S oh, have I been trading my stone? I only have four stone. Where did it go? Oh! Does it take... 
It takes 15 stone to build a carved stone. Whoopsie, I didn't even look at that. That's dumb. So much for upgrading my build. If I upgraded my buildings, I probably would have got more fame. Can you upgrade silos? You can. Increase food in this area by 20%. It just doesn't seem like it's very much, right? Because one Hunter's Lodge is only giving 21. So I guess it's three food. I mean, it's not nothing. But for eight stone to trade in there. Let's get one more villager over here. Let's go work at that carved stone in my main territory. And let's actually grab some of my sheeps and see if it's any more efficient. Like right now we're at negative 22, right? What if I put this guy back in my homeland? Negative 22? Negative 20. All right, it is more efficient to go over there. In the homeland. Interesting. Even in the winter, I'm only negative one food. Negative 20 wood, though. Well, how am I going to win here? I'm at 1,900 on trade, 1,121 on fame. And I actually would have lost, I think, uh, to the wisdom if I didn't do one of these two things. The Helheim, no one's taking care of that. This has been the most, like, non-combative game I've ever played of this, too. Look at, this, look at this person's job. Stand out next to a sheep in the middle of winter waving your hands at a rock. Like, that's what this... This is how this person contributes to society. Uh, oh, no! It's that thing. If only I had 10 million wood, right? Like, let's go find someone over here to repair that. Is anything else really beaten up at all? Nah. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yes. Actually, my Altar of Kings is beaten up. That's pretty bad. Let's have you go repair that. That was a fair bit of wood, too. May actually run out of wood. Oh! What is that, friends? What is that? I be the Great Merchant, apparently, according to Steve Achievement Unlocked. I am the Greatest Merchant. Now, how is it that one comes to be the Greatest Merchant, you might ask? Well... You need to really keep your eyes open. You gotta, you gotta just, just have your eyes open, I think, and click a couple of times, and voila, you are the greatest merchant. It's just as easy as that. I don't think I'm ever gonna go for a science victory because that sounds so boring. I think from now on, I'm gonna do just combat because uh, these passive victories are kind of dumb. I also like the ones where you go in the middle. Maybe I'll, in the future, play on hard and only go for either the middle victories or like combat victories or something. Although, I, maybe fame victories as well, because those, it seems like if you don't, you know, if you don't win via fame, I don't think anyone's going to win via, via conquest. And if you are going to win via conquest, like, that's just ridiculous. Like, you're going to win any way you want. It's just going to take you longer to go fight stuff. In any event, yeah, here's the replay. I actually grew pretty well there. Looks like I had the most territory by far. This poor blue guy got, like, nothing. He got really inched out. I just, I just, the thing is, I could expand so rapidly because of this clan being able to blow my crones to, to expand. Like before, I used to have to do food and I'd be like one, two, three territories. This time it was like food, crones, 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 like crones, crones, and then like food, crone, 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 crone. So I really built uh, a lot faster. This clan seems a little bit overpowered, really. But, you know, what do I know about it? I played the game for a grand total of like six hours. Anywho, so there it is, my first ever victory in the North Guard. Let me know what you're going to see next time, or if you want to even see a next time. But I'm thinking if I do something next time, it's going to be something combat-focused and probably on hard. Now, I have no idea what the difference in difficulty is from normal to hard, but I'm sure it's more than zero. Unless it's Total War, in which case it's actually negative. But regardless, so that has been The Weekend's North Guard. Now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Actually, can I? No, he's hitting me. He's hitting me. But we need to use the civilians to tank. I'm actually not going to be able to beat him. I'm actually not going to be able to beat him in my own territory. Holy mother of heavens. Why am I being attacked by two different war chiefs at the same time? Get out, get out, get out.